Hi there, I'm Jose, a.k.a. Dr. Logigate. And I'm Ryan, a.k.a. Dr. Stashington. Wow, that's also a really good name for a specialty burger. Get them burgers, yo! I could go for a Dr. Stashington with cheese and a side salad right now. I'm honored? Oh, you can thank Toybox TV viewers Dino Dive and Malik El Masaudi for that alias. Okay, Jose, so by now our viewers know that the Path Creator is one of the most powerful tools in the Toybox repertoire. You got that right, buddy. It's great for moving basic blocks, enemies, and townspeople along a path. You can also use it for cameras, vehicles, decorations, and even set pieces. But there are lots of super cool uses that most people probably don't know about. Huh? Like what? Uh, well, I'll tell you. But in the form of a song! No, 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 no. <clears throat> There's nothing greater than the Path Creator. No, 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 okay, no. Or, 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 you could just tell us, you know, like normal. Oh, okay, well. Have you ever had a time when you wanted to place a basic block close to the terrain and it wouldn't let you? Ah, I hate it when that happens. Well, since you can connect all basic blocks to path, just place a really short path creator, making sure the green starting point is where you want your basic block to go. Then, in the starting point's properties, turn off, auto start objects when connected. Now connect your basic block to the path creator, and bingo, it's right where you want it. Wow, that is really cool. That same trick works with anything else that can connect to a path. The path creator has the magic power to cancel out collision, or the force that keeps toys from overlapping. For example, you can place a path creator inside one basic block, then connect another basic block to it. Now the laws of physics have been cancelled out and the two blocks are merged! They can even move through each other and move along the path. Dude, that is so cray cray! And now, let's say that I want a metal door to slide open and be out of the way. That's super easy. To just place a path crater, turn off auto star objects when connected, and then connect the basic block to it. You know, for the door. And then, in the basic block's toy box path properties, make the movement style one way and stop and then have a trigger tell the path creator to reset and play. You do that and voila, the door will slide out of the way. You can also use this technique to hide things connected to a path inside a wall, since the collision is cancelled. Ooh, fancy! Of course, these are just a few of the amazing things you can do with the path creator. For more ideas, check out our puking gnome and Santa sleigh tips and tricks for more ideas. Yeah, if only there were a way for the path creator to bring me a huge order of Big Kahuna's Dr. Stashington burgers. Aha, <laughs> well you're in luck. Order up, Jose! Mm-hmm. This is a tasty burger. Thank you, path creator! Well, that's it for this time. Leave any questions as well as any new ideas for my alias in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out all our other tips and tricks videos for more ideas on building your own epic toy box.